When I saw that Mop and Madhouse were dropping a collaboration in spring of 2021, I thought there's no way it wouldn't be one of the most talked about shows of the season. But somehow it's not getting close to the attention I expected. So what is Tacked Up Destiny? It's an anime original that is affiliated with a game of the same name that isn't released yet. Sorry guys, I can't read Japanese, I'm as lost as everyone else. So whenever I see something like this, my first fear is that it would just be an anime made as promotional material for the game, and that's why they went after the big industry names to produce it. So is it just a marketing gimmick? Probably. Is it bad then? Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it might just be one episode, but this is looking like a banger. So the best way to explain the premise would be to say it's somewhere between Darling in the Franks and a gacha game. Which now that I look at it, the affiliated game is probably gonna be a gacha. So a black meteorite falls on Earth and it brings monsters called D2. Since their weakness is music, they banned music by, well, I assume killing the people that played it. And just like your typical gacha plot, there are women capable of fighting these monsters called music art. These women hold different musical scores in them, as an example, Destiny, the main heroine, is Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 in C minor. And uh, Japan, we need to talk. First it was ship girls, then it was gun girls, and now you expect us to pay real money to collect a PNG of an anime girl version of, I don't know, Mozart's Requiem Mass in D minor? <sighs> Where's my wallet? Also, as always with these kinds of stories, music arts need people to lead them in battle, called conductors. And you might say, that's just a gacha plot so far, why did you mention Darling in the Franks? And uh... Look, I know it's shallow, but what can I say, I like pink haired anime girls. So outside of that, there isn't even that much to say about it from the first episode alone. Our main cast is composed of Destiny as I've said before, her conductor, Takta Sahina, who just wants to play music. But considering that in this anime music is contained inside of the music arts, I don't know if that's supposed to be an innuendo or I'm just down bad. And there is Anna Schneider, who seems like the leader of the group and is trying to get them to New York. And yes, this anime takes place in America in 2047. And so far it seems like it will be a story of their road trip across the US as they fight the D2 and help people along the way with the power of music. And as you can expect from Madhouse and MAPPA, the production value is great. Both the visuals and the soundtrack and the opening, it, it's just amazing. Overall, I'd say this is an anime that might be worth checking out for anyone that is willing to take a chance on what might be a great ride. Or a car crash, who knows? Anyway, I know it's been a quick one, but without further ado, I'm Ivel, signing out.